Hello, let's simplify this. I'm going to do this using two different methods. At the end of the video, I would like you to tell me in the comment section, on the comment section, which of the methods do you prefer, okay? So the first one, uh, the last one is actually the most interesting one. So I would like you to watch to the end and see the method I used. First, before we use the first method, I want us to note that square root of 8, that is square root of 8, is equal to 8 to the power of half. All right? Now, square root of square root of 8, that is square root of square root of 8, is equal to 8 to the power of half for this first one, right? Now, raise to the power of another half for the second one. And when you have a to the power of m, raised to the power of n. This is same thing as a to the power of m multiplied by n. All right? So that simply means that we can rewrite this as what? That this is equal to 8 to the power of half multiplied by half, which is equal to 8 to the power of 1 times 1 will give us 1, and 2 times 2 will give us 4. So that is it for square root of square root of 8. Now, square root of square root of square root of 8 that is for this one square root of square root of square root of this 8 then it should be equal to 8 to the power of half the first one raised to the power of half the second one raised to the power of another half the third one all right now if we should resolve this in this way it's going to be 8 to the power of half multiplied by half multiplied by the third half right which will give us 8 to the power of 1 times 1 times 1 we give us 1 and 2 times 2 times 2 we give us 8 all right now it's time for us to substitute this into this place okay so let's go ahead and do that now we have square root of 8 all right that is the first one that that means this square root of 8 i'm going to replace with it 8 to the power of half right 8 to the power of half multiplied by Square root of square root of 8, which is what? 8 to the power of 1 over 4. So I have 8 to the power of 1 over 4 multiplied by, now, square root of square root of square root of 8, which is same thing as 8 to the power of 1 over 8, 8 to the power of 1 over 8. Now, everything is raised to the power of what? 8, okay? So this is equal to, now, in indices or in exponents, anytime you have the same base, okay and, and they are multiplying they must be multiplying each other you just have to pick one base then you add the powers all right so that means this is same thing as what i'll pick one base which is eight and i'm going to add one over two plus one over four plus one over eight all right now everything raised to the power of eight have you given us a thumbs up yet please give us a thumbs up and if you're actually enjoying the video which I'm sure you are, okay? So give us a thumbs up. Then, if this is the first time you are seeing this face, please subscribe to our channel. We are a lovely family, okay? So subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And on your notification bell, yes, yeah, so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload video twice every day, at least two times a day. So log in or tune in or do whatever you want anytime you have the time okay please tune in and check the new uploads thank you all right let's go back so this is equal to we have eight now i want since the lcm is eight so this should be two times four to give me eight right so i have eight now one times four will give me four that means this same thing as this plus now i have four times two to give me eight so one times two to give me two plus one over eight right now, everything raised to the power of 8. All right. Now, this is equal to, let me use this bracket. <laughs> it's easier for me. 8 to the power of, since we have the same denominator, we have the same denominator. 4 plus 2 plus 1, we give us 7. Everything raised to the power of 8. Now, we have this and this. Let's multiply. This, we cancel this. So, we have 8 to the power of 7. All right. And... 8 to the power of 7 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 because 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3, right? So this is equal to 
2 to the power of 3 to the power of 7, which is same thing as 2 to the power of 21. So this is our answer using the first method. Now, let's go ahead and use the second one. All right? Have you given us a thumbs up yet? Please do that. Please, please, please. All right? Now, let's use the second method to find, to simplify what we have. Now, for the second method, I'm going to change everything to base 2. Okay? So, I will have that this is the same thing as the square root of 2 to the power of 3. Okay? Then, square root of 2 to the power of 3. Square root of 2 to the power of 3. All right? Now, everything raised to the power of 8. Okay, I told you that this is the interesting one. Okay, then we have square roots here. So if we remove this square root, this square root is sent in as half, right? So if we should remove this square root, that means we have 2 to the power of 3, then square root of 2 to the power of 3, then square root of 2 to the power of 3. But this time around, the first bracket we have this square root that we removed, right? Before the general bracket, that we have 8, all right? Now, this is equal to, this we divide this to give us 4, okay? So, what we have left now is 2 to the power of 3, square root of 2 to the power of 3, square root of 2 to the power of 3, all right? Now, everything is raised to the power of 4, okay? So, this is equal to, we have 2 to the power of 3, square root of 2 to the power of 3, all right, let's analyze this side. This is square root of 2 to the power of 3 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1, right? Because once you have the same base and they are multiplying, you can pick one base and add the power to get this back. Now, everything raised to the power of 4. Now, this is equal to 2 to the power of 3 square root of 2 to the power of 3 square root of, now 2 to the power of 2 is 4, multiplied by 2, right? Everything to the power of 4. Let's continue. So we can now write that this is equal to, now this is equal to 2 to the power of 3, then square root of 2 to the power of 3. Now this is same thing as Square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 2, right? That is this one and this one. Now, everything to the power of 4, all right? So, we have 2 to the power of 3, square root of 2 to the power of 3. Square root of 4 will give you 2, which is sentence as 2 to the power of 1. Then, we have square root of 2, everything to the power of 4, <laughs> okay? This is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Divide the um, roots. I thought this is the interesting one. Roots. Now, we have the same base. We pick one. We add the powers to get four, right? Then we have root two. Everything to the power of what? Four. So, this is equal to two to the power of three. Square root of two to the power of four is 16. Then we have root two. Everything to the power of four. <laughs> Are you enjoying this class? So this is 2 to the power of 3. So we have square root of 16 already, which will give us 4. All right? Square root of 16 is 4. Now, we have square root of square root of 2 left, right? Square root of square root of 2. Now, everything to the power of 4. Permit me to clean this side of the board. All right? Hope you have given us a thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up. So we have 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by... Now, this is same thing as 2 to the power of 2, right? This one. Now, for here, we have 2 to the power of half raised to the power of another half, right? That is this one. 2 to the power of half raised to the power of another half. Now, everything to the power of 4. So, this is equal to, we have the same base. Let's do what? Let's pick one, two. Then, we are going to add the powers, 3 plus 2 to give us 5. Multiplied by then, here we have 2, half times half, right? We give us 1 over 4, raised to the power of 4. Now, recall, don't be tempted to say 4, we cancel 4. No. Recall that you need to solve the bracket first using PEMDAS or board mass. So, because of bracket first, that means we apply the law of indices 
that says that we're going to pick one base since we have the same base and are multiplying and we are going to add the powers now five plus half will give us five five plus quarter will give us five and quarter right so we have five four number one over four now everything to the power of four so this will give us two to the power of let's change this to improper fraction so four times five will give us 20 20 plus one will give us 21 divided by four everything raised to the power of four okay so this goes here and we still have our final answer to be 2 to the power of 21. Just like we caught using the first method. Bye.